what up guys so I want to answer a bunch of questions that I get asked literally every single day of my life um, and that question I get asked it, it pretty much every day a couple times a day um, the number one question I always get asked is how much to do an interior swap it's a very broad question. I usually don't ever know how to answer because, you know, what year truck do you have? Do you have an excursion, a 250, regular cab, crew cab? Um, and then what what do you want? What are your goals? Uh, do you want, you know, an 08 XL and a regular cab? Or do you want a full custom built excursion with all platinum or King Ranch, you know? So there's a humongous price difference. So, uh, everyone's like well what's the price difference i'm like i don't know three grand to 20 grand like it, it's a big difference and it's not you know uh it's mostly the parts that's the expensive part for sure so from like my interior this uh 2015-16 king ranch um with the headliner every little panel and center console and the carpet usually this kind of interior goes for around five to six grand uh they're hard to find this brown leather is worth its weight in gold i guess it's about what i paid after i collected everything i'm six grand into this interior so um if you want something that's a little cheaper the next step down is platinum um they usually go around you know 35 to four grand maybe 4500 um for the platinum and then the next step down is lariat and that's just you can get that in black or the the tan leather is even a little cheaper because uh, i call it the old man tan it's just the creamy tan uh six seven almost it's almost the same colors as these door panels i'm not a fan of it but that's the cheapest lariat package you can get um and then and then right below that's you know xl base model shit so um it depends what you want but something like this i get calls all the time on this dashboard with the hump um they say, hey, hey, Zach, how much to do an interior swap? Uh, I already have the 2016 dash. How much to put it in, man? Um, tell them uh, what kind of truck you got. And then they tell me. And then I'm like, uh, it's probably going to start at like four grand. And they're like, no, 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 man. I already have the dash. Just need you to put it in. Yeah, yeah. It started like four to eight grand. And they're like, what the fuck? Like, no, no, no. Like, just to put it in, man? Like, just to put it in? I'm like, yeah, just to put it in. So um this alpine stereo that i have um i'll stick the key in this alpine stereo it's super nice but it's fifteen hundred dollars this alpine stereo is fifteen hundred dollars and the reason being is it's an eight inch there's not very many eight inch stereos on the market at all and so uh you know not very many eight inches on the market there's not much to choose from and then plus not only this i you cannot run a seven inch double din everyone's like oh i already have a i already have a kenwood uh, uh double din will run in it it's like you can't run that without fucking the dash up because this pocket's deep enough where it goes halfway behind the screen so this need this screen has to be thin you can't run a double din without cutting into this pocket and bringing the double din up in here so the, it takes a very special radio to fit in these dashes correctly so that that's the other thing fifteen hundred dollars and then retrofit customs makes this bezel which is 250 and then you get an ipad for another 450 500 bucks so you know labor said and done to put this thing in you're you're gonna be in this radio just twenty five hundred dollars just to put this part in twenty five hundred dollars and you probably bought the dash for a thousand so then you're thirty five hundred dollars just into the buying the dash and getting the radio set up you know and you still need the little bypass uh so you're driving you can still type stuff you know if you want the i have up here where the ipad plugs in you know if you want extra usbs you know you want a sound system you know it just goes up and then you know we still have to do the whole column and the cruise control and the audio controls and then the super cool gauge cluster i still need to build you know so these columns you know usually i charge 1500 bucks to put in the whole six seven column 
you know, to have everything working, you know, with the hazards and all that stuff. So you'd be 1500 bucks here. So what, we're 35 for the dash and the radio. So that brings it to what, $5,000. And then I charge a thousand bucks and an extra 200 for the gear selector. So you'd be another 12 there. So you're $6,200 in this dash with a cluster column, the whole radio setup. Now we still need to do the AC control. So that means we have to find the correct AC controls and run all the custom ducking and build all that. And usually I charge 500 bucks. So now we're seven grand into the dash. And then, you know, if you still want some cool switches, um, if you want to make, you know, if you want to make this your overdrive button as well, you know, you still got the headlight switch and stuff. If you want to run, you know, extra gauges, do a little you want to do a push to start you want to add a usb charger here you want me to put leds inside the ac controls let's say you want to you want the power inverter so you know you can flip a switch and the power inverter comes on you know so you can see how the money adds up on this super fast and so you'd be like eight thousand dollars just into the dashboard and we ain't even started the rest of the truck yet the rest of the truck's the cheap part but so then you're at eight thousand dollars it's probably going to be another four grand you know to put the rest of the truck in you know you still have to do the headliner you still have to you know do all the wiring for everything so you know you still, i still have to make brackets for the pillars you know get the seat belts going so you know they function correctly so you can still adjust them and everything you know and then uh if you want subwoofers in the back you know still got to wire up the door panels with the the, the tweeters do the tweeters up front and then if you want full power mirrors and everything so you could be easy usually i tell everyone you know budget for 12 to fifteen thousand dollars said and done for this kind of uh 13 to 2016 interior um it's gonna be 12 to fifteen thousand dollars so it's about probably four to five grand in parts on your end you're probably gonna be missing parts if you buy this interior used everyone is always missing parts and that makes the budget go up if you're missing shit and then uh if you can't afford that you know it's out of the budget which i don't blame you it's a lot of money um get 08 stuff you know 08 stuff we could do a whole 08 build for like the interior you probably get for two grand for lariat 08 you know we'll probably be able to put it in for another four grand so what you'd be you'd be in a, a whole 08 interior like five six maybe seven grand literally half the price is this shit this truck's just it's a lot of money it's got the the power inverters in the in the dash and the center console you know extra cigarette lighters running everywhere it's got heated and cooled seats there's just a lot more work in these trucks so that being said now you know for something like this expect 12 to 15 grand for it done right done right and then um that's with a gauge cluster I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on those because um what we got going on right now on uh because i also do online orders for you do it yourself guys uh so uh these are all a bunch of relay kits i'm building right now for guys i'm just doing a fat batch because i'm I've been very behind on orders, but I'm almost I'm, I'm, every every week I'm catching up. It's going freaking great. But if you want to put an online order for a price or something, this is usually how it works. So email me, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And then you PayPal me, Venmo me, or cash out me some money. And then what I do is I hop up on my fancy laptop. What you want, Axel? See, we're building parts everywhere in here, too. I bring you up to the loft. Oh, the magic doesn't happen. All right, so half up on my little computer with my Excel. And then what I do is, this is what I do to keep track of everything. I just started doing this. I, uh, I've only been doing it a couple months now. Um, but so I go in here, I put your name, how I get a hold of you, your year truck, your engine, um, uh, the date you paid me, and then what you got, like what you ordered, or what we're doing on the job, just extra notes how you paid me, and then uh, my costs, how much it costs to ship it, and then usually how much I make. 
and then it'll be like your address or wherever I'm shipping the parts. So all the ones in red are orders that I've already done and shipped out. The blue ones are the 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 parts I'm doing on my tailgate right now. So you see I'm doing a batch of them. The once I finish all those ones outside, it's gonna knock out a lot on this list. Now the green ones are still open. Now the yellow ones are the gauge clusters. So you can still see I have a handful of gauge clusters to catch up on. But once I knock out all these blue ones, man, we're going to start booming these clusters back out because now that I've caught up. So, and then these are orders before I was doing this Excel spreadsheet that I'm just backtracking, going through messages to make sure I sent everything and just, just, uh, just going through and, uh, making sure I've got all my orders straight. So if, uh, you're still waiting on an order and it's been like March, you know, earlier in the year, message me. So I get my ducks in a row. And, you know get all this stuff down because I'm, I'm i'm getting better at keeping track of everything and all that stuff so hope this answers a lot of questions if you want that new fancy interior it's freaking expensive um if you're not in the budget go for an 08 interior so you know it's, i can do those a lot faster and a lot easier and that's something you could do yourself it's just these six seven ones that are kind of a pain in the butt but i am starting to make kits for them i've already shipped out one and it's doing pretty good um it just depends on your truck and your years to give you an exact price but you know it's good it, it ain't no five hundred dollar job to put these dashes in so i hope this video helps all y'all um other than that i ain't got nothing else but if you got questions let me know drop them in the comments or message me at e4motors at gmail.com or the best ways on instagram um i don't check my facebook too much but i, I check my personal but not my e4 page so other than that, have a good day. Adios. Hopefully this worked out. Tell the people goodbye, Axel.